Michael, Michael and Jared, it's called CycleSafe, and as you mentioned, it's basically a dash cam for bikes. Now, the third generation of the prototype is actually being tested right now, but once it does make its way onto bikes, the goal is to make streets like these safer for cyclists and also to collect data that can help spark some meaningful change. It's a product. You have the ultrasonic sensor pointing about 45 degrees to the back. That is hopeful to make a big difference ultimately increasing the cyclist safety. Robert Heinrichs is an associate teaching professor for software engineering at ASU. In the spring, Heinrichs and some of his students started helping out with CycleSafe, started by U of A professor Dr. Daniel Latt and John Dollar. One of the main things, you know, that, that we're trying to do is educate the motorists. Hey, when you see a cyclist on the road, it's, it's, it's up to you to give them three feet, and it's an actual law. Dollar is the president of the Rob Dollar Foundation which started after John's son Rob was killed while biking at South Mountain Park. It's not a bike, it's an actual person, you know, it's, someone's, it's a doctor, it's a fireman, you know, it's someone's mom, dad, in my case it was my son. Here's how CycleSafe works. The small dash cam fits on a bike's handlebar, complete with a motion sensor that will signal to a camera to start taking a series of photos if the car gets closer than three feet to the bike. The device itself is uh, intended to be very um, unintrusive or uh, very, very subtle. There's also an app in development that goes with the dash cam and can collect data. With that, we are able to generate reports of how many incidents happened uh, in a certain region, county, city, uh, intersection. Arizona law says that a car driving in the same direction a bike is going must leave at least three feet of space between the two at all times. There are obviously different components with a lot smaller footprint. The hope for CycleSafe is to help make meaningful change. You know, they, they know the importance of, of this device and what it's going to do and how it can accumulate data. And back out here live, still some testing and a little bit of tinkering that needs to go on with these cycle safes. But the goal is to have some of the prototypes go on bikes at some point in the early part of 2025 for a trial. If all goes well, then there's a chance that cycle safes could be on bikes both nationwide, even globally shortly after. For now, reporting live in Phoenix, Zach Prelutsky for Arizona's Family.